this week we're showing you around and it is a converted bus tour. It's Zach and Annie's bus and they just finished it a month ago. And they've let us go through it and show you guys what it actually looks like now. Their website is the National State Nomads if you want to check them out. Let's see this bus. Right when you walk in the door, they have a workstation here. So they are online nomads and they have online jobs. And this is their main workstation. Zach also does photography, so he has a lot of camera gear here. Um, underneath the workstation is a kennel for their dog and it is pretty big. You can fit a huge dog in there. It's just generally a very welcoming open area for right when you walk in the door. They have tons of storage here. They have these cubes and they actually go like they have two of them. So they have like double storage in here, which is awesome. And drawers. Plenty of storage. I really love how the ceiling is curved in here and they chose to take out or not put in any upper cabinets, which is right down my alley. Cause I don't like it when it gets all claustrophobic and cramped. Cause the ceilings are not as high as in like a tiny house or anything. So this is just makes it spacious and it keeps the light in here. Right down here is the main living area. So they have this great sofa here. It's pretty big and they actually have storage underneath it. So you can lift up like this and there's so much storage down there. Over here is more storage. So you can actually open this up and there's little cup holders here, which is just really nice. And even down here. <laughs> you might think that going tiny you have to like sacrifice a lot of things and a lot of stuff. But as you can see you can actually bring quite a lot of stuff. And it does not feel cramped in here. So it's doable. Here's a little ottoman. And it also has storage in it. And you can bring it over. And use it over here. Zach and Annie actually travel with a pretty big dog <laughs> and it needs to have its food somewhere so they've made a little space for it down here. The food bowl and the water bowl, they go here and it's nice that it's tucked away and this is actually some kind of rubber thing so it doesn't slide around when they drive around, which is pretty cool. The kitchen is adorable. There's everything you need in here and everything is pretty much full size. So you have a big huge sink here. Dad and uh, Annie the dog out there. And uh, toothbrushes <laughs> or a spice rack. Yep. Anything could work in this space. Um, cleaning supplies and trash and all that kinds of stuff. There's lots of space in here. You have a normal stove, four burner. There's everything you need. There's an oven. You could probably cook a Thanksgiving turkey in here. Or maybe a chicken. <laughs> Up here is a spice rack and just like more storage all the way around. I really like how this surface is so clean. It's not cramped with things and it's... This whole bus gives you kind of this like zen peaceful vibe. Like it's a really nice place to relax and have adventures from. Over here they have a chest freezer. And it's the area that you can't really access it anyway. So it's really great that they utilized it this way. Down here they have latches. So you can actually latch the drawer in place so it doesn't fly open when you drive. <laughs> in here is a slide out pantry. If you're hesitant in any way about small space living, I hope this has 
kill your doubts. <laughs> this is a place to get ready in the morning, maybe. Yes. And there's a huge mirror, and it's right in your eye height, so it's perfect. Emergency or second or third exit, there's actually a lot of exits in this bus. Further down here, more storage. So these two both open up. Bags and all kinds of stuff. There's clothes in this one. And I really love how they have these curtains over here. So you have the outer curtains that are really good for insulation that when you put these on, then if you're traveling somewhere where it's cold, it's probably giving a little bit of a break for the, for the cold. And then when it's warm, it keeps out the heat pretty well. At least that's what they told me. <laughs> and this one is just really nice to kind of like block the sun a little bit. Give you some soft lighting in here. It's very homey, all of it. There's a step down here and there's actually more storage. There's a fire extinguisher, always good to have, <laughs> easy to access. And then up here is the bed. This is a queen size bed. It's nice, cozy, little comfy areas to sleep in. And this bed is raised up and that's because there's a lot of storage under the bed. This is a ladder to get up to the roof rack and they keep kayaks up there. I've seen that from the outside and it must be a really good place to maybe enjoy a beer or a glass of wine at night and enjoy some beautiful sunsets. This door is made out of all reclaimed wood from a friend's house and I love the rustic feel of it. Right when you open the door there's tons of storage here and I love how they built that in. This is really a lot of times it's wasted space so it's great to utilize it to hang some more stuff. And a lot of times bathrooms get really crammed and crowded, so this is perfect. Check out the bathroom. This is one of the Nature's Head composting toilets and we've seen them in a lot of places and a lot of people really love them. They're small and they don't they're not as big and chunky as a lot of the bigger ones and they're really easy to handle, so I think that's why they're so popular. It fits perfectly here and they actually have something that I've always wanted. They have a toilet with a view, <laughs> which is amazing. Over here is like, it's like a bathtub. It's a huge tub. And uh, yeah, this is the shower. <laughs> Plenty of space. Wow, I really like this bus conversion. It's so light, it's so white. So it's like a modern feel. It doesn't feel too small or too cramped. It's really homey and nice. I think I could do this. I, can, I mean, some of the tiny homes, it's super cute, it's super nice, but sometimes they get a little dark, they get a little claustrophobic in some way. But this is just open and wide and nice. You even have a skylight out in the bathroom. I love it. 